Success is nothing more than a few simple disciplines practiced every day. Jim Rohn Saying no is important. Dig within. Within is the wellspring of good, and it is always ready to bubble up if you just dig. The golden mean is the best. Aristotle. This quote reflects Aristotle's belief that virtue lies in finding the right balance between extremes, avoiding both excess and deficiency. Time always exposes what you truly mean to someone. It's a slow process, but quitting won't speed it up. In the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. Alan Watts Of the free will there is no thief or robber out of Epictetus. Whose is this also, that we should find a certain art and method of assenting, and that we should always observe with great care and heed the inclinations of our minds, that they may always be with their due restraint and reservation, always charitable, and according to the true worth of every present object, and as for earnest longing, that we should altogether avoid it, and to use averseness in those things only that wholly depend of our own wills. It is not about ordinary petty matters, believe it, that all our strife and contention is, but whether with the vulgar we should be mad, or by the help of philosophy wise and sober, said he. Cantutrine. Socrates said, What will you have? The souls of reasonable or unreasonable creatures? Of reasonable. But what? Of those whose reason is sound and perfect? Or of those whose reason is vitiated and corrupted? Of those whose reason is sound and perfect? Why then labor ye not for such? Because we have them already. What then do ye so strive and contend between you? Accept what is, let go of what was, have faith in what will be. Let go or be dragged. He who has renounced all desires and acts only for the welfare of others without any expectation of reward is the greatest of all. Bhagavad Gita We are our choices. Folks are usually about as happy as they make up their minds to be. You have everything you need for complete peace and total happiness right now. Wayne Dyer He that hath not won and the self-same general end always as long as he liveth cannot possibly be won and the self-same man always. But this will not suffice except thou add also what ought to be this general end. For as the general conceit and apprehension of all those things which upon no certain ground are by the greater part of men deemed good, cannot be uniform and agreeable, but that only which is limited and restrained by some certain proprieties and conditions, as of community, that nothing be conceived good, which is not commonly and publicly good, so must the end also that we propose unto ourselves be common and sociable. For he that doth direct all his own private motions and purposes to that end, all his actions will be agreeable and uniform, and by that means will be still the same man. Let go or be dragged. To bear trials with a calm mind robs misfortune of its strength and burden.
the greatest wealth is to live content with little. Plato Act as if you were already happy, and that will tend to make you happy. If you are anxious, you are living in the future. If you are at peace, you are living in the present. Uh, thanks to impermanence, everything is possible. Teach not Han. Of indifference. The hypothetical proposition is indifferent. The judgment about it is not indifferent, but it is either knowledge or opinion or error. Thus life is indifferent. The use is not indifferent. When any man then tells you that these things also are indifferent, do not become negligent. And when a man invites you to be careful, do not become abject and struck with admiration of material things. And it is good for you to know your own preparation and power, that in those matters where you have not been prepared, you may keep quiet and not be vexed if others have the advantage over you. For you too, in syllogisms will claim to have the advantage over them. And if others should be vexed at this, you will console them by saying, I have learned them, and you have not. Thus also where there is need of any practice, seek not that which is required from the need, but yield in that matter to those who have had practice and be yourself content with firmness of mind. Go and salute a certain person, how? Not meanly. But I have been shut out, for I have not learned to make my way through the window. And when I have found the door shut, I must either come back or enter through the window. But still speak to him. In what way? Not meanly. But suppose that you have not got what you wanted. Was this your business? And not his? Why then do you claim that which belongs to another? Always remember what is your own and what belongs to another, and you will not be disturbed. Chrysippus therefore said, Well, so long as future things are uncertain, I always cling to those which are more adapted to the conservation of that which is according to nature. For God himself has given me the faculty of such choice. But if I knew that it was fated for me to be sick, I would even move toward it. For the foot also, if it had intelligence, would move to go into the mud. For why are ears of corn produced? Is it not that they may become dry? And do they not become dry that they may be reaped? For they are not separated from communion with other things. If then they had perception, Ought they to wish never to be reaped? But this is a curse upon ears of corn, never to be reaped. So we must know that in the case of men too it is a curse not to die, just the same as not to be ripened and not to be reaped. But since we must be reaped, and we also know that we are reaped, we are vexed at it. For we neither know what we are, nor have we studied what belongs to man, as those who have studied horses know what belongs to horses. But Chrysantas, when he was going to strike the enemy, checked himself when he heard the trumpet sounding a retreat. So it seemed better to him to obey the general's command than to follow his own inclination. But not one of us chooses, even when necessity summons, readily to obey it. But weeping and groaning we suffer what we do suffer, and we call them circumstances. What kind of circumstances, man? If you give the name of circumstances to the things which are around you, all things are circumstances. But if you call hardships by this name, what hardship is there in the dying of that which has been produced? But that which destroys is either a sword or a wheel or the sea or a tile or a tyrant. Why do you care about the way of going down to Hades? All ways are equal. But if you will listen to the truth, 
the way which the tyrant sends you is shorter. A tyrant never killed a man in six months, but a fever is often a year about it. All these things are only sound and the noise of empty names. I am in danger of my life from Caesar, and am not I in danger who dwell in Nicopolis, where there are so many earthquakes? And when you are crossing the Hadriatic, what hazard do you run? Is it not the hazard of your life? But I am in danger also as to opinion. Do you mean your own? How? For who can compel you to have any opinion which you do not choose? But is it as to another man's opinion? And what kind of danger is yours if others have false opinions? But I am in danger of being banished. What is it to be banished? To be somewhere else than at Rome? Yes. What then if I should be sent to Gyara? If that suits you, you will go there. But if it does not, you can go to another place instead of Gyara, whither he also will go. Who sends you to Gyara, whether he choose or not? Why then do you go up to Rome as if it were something great? It is not worth all this preparation, that an ingenuous youth should say, it was not worthwhile to have heard so much, and to have written so much, and to have sat so long by the side of an old man who is not worth much. Only remember that division by which your own and not your own are distinguished. Never claim anything which belongs to others. A tribunal and a prison are each a place, one high and the other low. But the will can be maintained equal if you choose to maintain it equal in each. And we shall then be imitators of Socrates when we are able to write paeans in prison. But in our present disposition, consider if we could endure in prison another person saying to us, would you like me to read paeans to you? Why do you trouble me? Do you not know the evils which hold me? Can I in such circumstances? What circumstances? I am going to die. And will other men be immortal? You can't go back and change the beginning, but you can start where you are and change the ending. Make improvements, not excuses. The earth repays those who cultivate her, both justly and well, multiplying what she received, endowing in abundance all the necessities of life to anyone willing to work, and all this without violating your dignity or self-respect. Musonius Rufus You can easily judge a man's character by how he treats those who can do nothing for him. If you need music on the beach, you're missing the point. You are doomed to make choices. This is life's greatest paradox. Wayne Dyer The Lacedaemonians at their public spectacles were wont to appoint seats and forms for their strangers in the shadow. They themselves were content to sit anywhere. Do not go where the path may lead. Go instead where there is no path and leave a trail. New beginnings are disguised as painful endings. Man is not worried by real problems so much as by his imagined anxieties about real problems. Epictetus Our pleasures are shallow, our sorrows are deep. Children make so much noise you can't think, but when they leave the house forever, the silence is maddening. Live in the end, Neville Goddard.
Remember that all is but opinion, and all opinion depends of the mind. Take thine opinion away, and then as a ship that hath stricken in within the arms and mouth of the harbour, a present calm, all things safe and steady, obey, not capable of any storms and tempests, as the poet hath it. Don't stop when you're tired, stop when you are done. Give a person everything that he desires, and at the same moment, he will feel that this is not everything. There is neither this world nor the world beyond, nor happiness for the one who doubts. Bhagavad Gita Focus on improving yourself, not proving yourself. There is nothing impossible to him who will try. If you suffer and make your loved ones suffer, there is nothing that can justify your desire. Tishnat Han To the stone that is cast up, when it comes down it is no hurt unto it, as neither benefit when it doth ascend. Whenever you are about to find fault with someone, ask yourself the following question. What fault of mine most nearly resembles the one I'm about to criticize? Do not be so kind, you forgot to be clever, and never be so clever, you forgot to be kind. Before a crowd, the ignorant are more persuasive than the educated. Aristotle Fill your bowl to the brim, and it will spill. Keep sharpening your knife, and it will be blunt. Do not regret the past. At that moment you did your best. Imagine your life is perfect in every respect. What would it look like? Brian Tracy Now much time and leisure doth he gain, who is not curious to know what his neighbor hath said, or hath done, or hath attempted, but only what he doth himself, that it may be just and holy? Or to express it in Agathos' words, not to look about upon the evil conditions of others, but to run on straight in the line, without any loose and extravagant agitation. No regrets, just lessons. People will say almost anything when they're happy. Be wise and careful of this one. A happy life consists in tranquility of mind. Cicero. He travels the fastest who travels alone. If you change your mind, you can change your life. The best way to take care of the future is to take care of the present moment. Thich Nhat Hanh. Behavior. When you hear the phrase kind behavior and expressions of gratitude, you will most likely think of being kind to others and expressing your gratitude for others. While this is extremely useful and beneficial, it is equally important to be kind to yourself and show gratitude to yourself. Numerous studies have shown the positive impact kindness and gratitude have on your mental well-being and quality of life. Activities like keeping a gratitude journal and practicing random acts of kindness help you remember the good in life and help you reflect on positive situations and experiences. Strive to combat criticism with kindness 
and take control of your life's situation. Kindness and gratitude are always options, and you have the choice to demonstrate both. True strength is to be found in kindness, so begin and end each day by identifying one thing for which you are grateful. It's a simple act that produces significant benefits. Never forget that the only person that cares about your hopes and dreams is you. The only person that is going to make them happen is you. Always look at where you're going, not where you've been. Wait for that wisest of all counselors, time, Pericles. Pay close attention to those who say they love you because so often they don't. They only use you. Trust in yourself and your first instinct on decisions. Do your duty and a little more and the future will take care of itself. Success is steady progress toward one's personal goals. Jim Rohn Remember that the insult does not come from the person who abuses you or hits you, but from your judgment that such people are insulting you. Therefore, whenever someone provokes you, be aware that it is your own opinion that provokes you. Try, therefore, in the first place, not to be carried away by your impressions, for if you can gain time and delay, you will more easily control yourself. If you love something so much, let it go. If it comes back, it was meant to be. If it doesn't, it never was. Our friends show us what we can do. Our enemies teach us what we must do. The fool's life is empty of gratitude and full of fears. Its course lies wholly toward the future. Epicurus It all begins and ends in your mind. What you give power to has power over you. Work on mastering your mind. Fear is just excitement in need of an attitude adjustment. In the silence of the heart, love reveals itself. Rumi If at any time it should happen that you turn to external things with the aim of pleasing someone, understand that you have ruined your life's plan. Be content then, in everything with being a philosopher. And if you wish also to be regarded as such, appear so to yourself, and that will be sufficient. Learn as if you were not reaching your goal, and as though you were scared of missing it. Get rid of the desire to have. The soul becomes dyed with the color of its thoughts. Marcus Aurelius Be slow in choosing a friend, slower in changing. Givers have to set limits because takers rarely do. Root out the violence in your life and learn to live compassionately and mindfully. Seek peace. When you have peace within, real peace with others is possible. Thishnat Han Of Providence From everything which is or happens in the world, 
It is easy to praise providence if a man possesses these two qualities, the faculty of seeing what belongs and happens to all persons and things, and a grateful disposition. If he does not possess these two qualities, one man will not see the use of things which are and which happen. Another will not be thankful for them, even if he does know them. If God had made colors, but had not made the faculty of seeing them, what would have been their use? None at all. On the other hand, if he had made the faculty of vision, but had not made objects, Plan for what is difficult while it is easy. Do what is great while it is small. We learn not in school but in life. Knowing yourself is the beginning of all wisdom. Aristotle People come and go. Focus on you. Life isn't fair, but it's still good. Realize that you are the observer, not the observed. Papaji. How everything may he done acceptably to the gods. When someone asked, how may a man eat acceptably to the gods, he answered, if he can eat justly and contentedly, and with equanimity, and temperately and orderly, will it not be also acceptably to the gods? But when you have asked for warm water and the slave has not heard, or if he did hear has brought only tepid water, or he is not even found to be in the house, then not to be vexed or to burst with passion, is not this acceptable to the gods? How then shall a man endure such persons as this slave? Slave yourself, will you not bear with your own brother, who has Zeus for his progenitor, and is like a son from the same seeds and of the same descent from above? But if you have been put in any such higher place, will you immediately make yourself a tyrant? Will you not remember who you are and whom you rule? that they are kinsmen, that they are brethren by nature, that they are the offspring of Zeus. But I have purchased them, and they have not purchased me. Do you see in what direction you are looking, that it is toward the earth, toward the pit, that it is toward these wretched laws of dead men? But toward the laws of the gods you are not looking. Embrace every opportunity, for regrets come from the chances we didn't take. Hardship often prepares an ordinary person for an extraordinary destiny. Don't stand by the water and long for fish. Go home and weave a net. Chinese proverb. Never tolerate disrespect, not even from yourself. Forget injuries, never forget kindness. The major value in life is not what you get. The major value in life is what you become. Jim Rohn Not to wander out of the way, but upon every motion and desire, to perform that which is just, and ever to be careful to attain to the true natural apprehension of every fancy that presents itself. Adversity introduces a man to himself. Anyone who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. When a person can't find a deep sense of meaning, they distract themselves with pleasure. Victor Frankl